Hey, everybody. What's going on? It's your old buddy Jimbo. Beat down again. Beat down from a horrible day at work. Rough day at work. Still in my work clothes. Haven't showered. I'm going right into it. I'm going right into it because, A, I need this. And, you know, I, I love doing it. And I think maybe y'all need it, too. It's been a rough day today. So, Blue Collar Beer Review. Yo, buddy Jimbo. One beer, one take. All for y'all. Look, I got a crazy beer. This is a crazy beer. This is a, this is probably, don't tell my wife, all right? Please, let's just keep this between us, all right? This is probably the most expensive beer I've ever bought, all right? This beer was crazy expensive, but I had to have it because it's got two of my favorite things kind of combined. And everybody knows one of my favorite things is beer, really good beer. And one of my other favorite things is scotch. I love scotch. So this beer is, is special because it combines the two, kind of, okay? So let's just keep that to ourselves. Don't tell the wife. All right, so let me get into this. This is a Harveston. It's a, and if you were to look at the spelling of it, it wouldn't be like that. It'd be, you, you wouldn't have ever been able to be able to pronounce it, but it's Harveston. It's brewed in Scotland, all right? Because if it's not Scottish, it's crap. Remember that, all right? So this is brewed in Scotland. It's an ale matured in whiskey casks, and that's scotch whiskey casks for you, you know, people that don't know what I'm talking about when I say a whiskey cask, and we're talking about Scotland, we're talking about scotch whiskey, all right? And this beer is called Oladov, Special 12 Reserve. And Oladov, I'm pretty sure it's Gaelic. It's Oladov, and it, it means black oil. <laughs> and black oil. And it's named this because this beer, it's viscous and gloppy. <laughs> viscous and gloppy. <laughs> Uh, they're really, they're really putting out all the stops. They're really, they're not hyping their beer. They're actually calling it viscous and gloppy. So with that being said, I was like, I, I was looking at it and I was like, viscous and gloppy, oil, black oil. <laughs> Sign old Jimbo up for this one. Spare no expense. <laughs> viscous and gloppy. Tile me in. All right. And the uh, casks that it's uh, stored in or aged in. It's from Highland Park, Highland Park Distillery. And they make some great scotch. So, and this comes, this this isn't even the really expensive one. They, it, it, they This is the 12 here. It goes 16, 18, and like a 20 or a 25 year uh, aged cask also. This beer is, 11.2 uh, alcohol by volume, or no, fluid ounces. It's 11.2 fluid ounces. It's 8% alcohol by volume. This beer, it's got a bottle number on it. It's numbered, bottle number 01389, just in case you're interested. This was bottled. This started aging, this beer, in July 2011. So, you do the math. It's pretty old beer, but it's supposed to be awesome. So, you know, it's supposed to be gloppy. It's gloppy. How can it not be? It's got a tag on it. It's got the brewer signed on it. It's got all, it's got, I mean, it's got all the markings of this, uh, you know, high dollar stuff. It's got this, the aluminum type 
wrapper stuff on it, which is always cool. I mean, who doesn't like aluminum wrap? It's like opening a present on Christmas. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's got a little mouse on it. I guess that's Harveston. I guess that's his name. Old Harveston. He's a good guy. There he is again. He's a cool little mouse. All right, I'm not getting too excited about bottles and all, but, you know, you got to milk this one for all it's worth. So, with all that being said, all that hype, we're going to do the double dump, and we're going to play it the same way. We're going to do the double dump. I'm going to look, listen, and smell, and I'm not going to sip this. I'm going to hammer it like I always do and give you the straight up review, the skinny of this high dollar Scottish beer. So we'll see what's up, me friends. So let's give it the old Scottish try here. Okay. No gloppiness or anything viscous spewed forth out of it. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do the pour. Let's do the dump. <laughs> oh. Okay. That is definitely the darkest beer I've ever seen in my life. It is not even pretending to be a stout. It's not even, it's not even brown or a tinge of red or anything in there. It's just black. So it's Ola Duff. It's Ola Duff for sure. It's the black oil. I got the tag here. I want to give you that and I don't even know if y'all can. Smells wonderful. It's quiet as a church mouse. Maybe that's why there's a mouse on this. Because it's just quiet. And it's not doing anything. <laughs> oh, look out! So, I'm supposed to say... You know, when you're in Scotland or Ireland, you say, we always cheers to health. You say, Solange, health. Me brothers, me sisters. Great Brussels lace on there. That's a fantastic one. Look at that. That is just beautiful right there. Look at that. It's like a work of art. What a smooth, wonderful, delicious beer. I can I can taste the scotch in it. It's got a little, uh, kind of a little coffee, kind of chocolatey node to it. At the end, I can, I could definitely, when I was drinking it, I could definitely feel the scotch. I could, I could, I could exhale when I was, when I was gulping it down and kind of breathing. I could, I could feel that scotch. If you've ever had scotch, you, you know, it's a nose thing when you're, when you're drinking scotch. And that's, this beer definitely had it. This is just a, it's a special it's a special occasion beer. I kind of feel dirty drinking it right now, but I needed to pick me up. This and and this this beer did it. This is just a wonderful, wonderful beer. I think everyone should try one. They're a little pricey, so uh, but you know, you only live once, and as I always say. Beer is love, and love is beer. And you can't put a price on love. 
and you can't put a price on beer. And I mean that. Love y'all. Hey, leave a like. You know, tell a friend. You know the routine. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. And tomorrow, I've got an insane beer. And it's a big beer and a big beer. It's not these baby beers I've been doing, all right? You know, Fridays, I go big or I don't go at all. So, this, Harvestin, Oladav, it's Jimbo approved. Jimbo out.